Yeah, just imagine it's over 100 years ago, the early 1900s. Bruce's Beach was a thriving resort for black residents here along the Strand. In the 1920s, this beachfront property was taken from the Bruce family by the city of Manhattan Beach using eminent domain. In 1995, it was transferred to the state and then to the county. Today, the governor made it legally possible for the county to transfer it again, this time back to the Bruce family. As governor of California, uh, let me do what apparently Manhattan Beach is unwilling to do, and I want to apologize to the Bruce family for the injustice. Governor Newsom apologizing to the descendants of Charles and Willa Bruce, who in 1912 spent $1,200, a lot of money back then. Created a beach resort, a dance hall, a uh, tavern, and a lodging place for folks to recreate. It was one of only two black resorts in the early 1900s in Southern California, the other in Santa Monica, but this one where a county lifeguard station now sits was taken from the Bruce family by the city of Manhattan Beach in the 1920s by eminent domain under the guise of building a park. Activist Kavon Ward started an awareness campaign. I took it to lawyers, I took it to policymakers, I took it to the streets. I organized the community. We marched, we protested. This while L.A. County Supervisor Janice Hodd took a different route after discovering the Bruce's property. Was stolen from them and that now that it's, it's part of the county of Los Angeles that I actually had something to do with wanting to give it back. She needed a state law to allow the county to return the Bruce's property to the family. State Senator Steve Bradford authored that law, and Governor Newsom signed it after making his apology. Now, my honor, to sign this bill. But why won't the Manhattan Beach City Council apologize to the family and other black families that had property here? Former Mayor Mitch Ward was responsible for getting this plaque honoring Bruce's Beach back in the early 2000s. Why is it the city council doesn't want to apologize to the Bruce family? Well, some individuals believe that, you know, it's not um, their responsibility to do that because it happened 100, 100 years ago. Current Manhattan Beach Mayor Hildy Stern has issued an apology. And um, my colleagues would not accept the apology. They did agree to just issue a, a, an acknowledgement, um, and I felt that that was not adequate and that didn't go far enough to really to really um, extend ourselves to the Bruce. Are you concerned about that? Um, I think that it I think that what we really need to be doing is to really acknowledge our past and to be more more uh, open to apologizing for it. And then there's the great great grandson of the Bruce's, Anthony Bruce, who read a prayer and then gave appreciation. And I want to thank everyone who is here today. Wow. To be clear, this has not yet been transferred. There's a legal process that has to follow, and tomorrow that begins with Supervisor Janice Hahn starting a motion or two to get things rolling, and then there's a process that could take some time. But the signature of the governor today, Alex, was significant in making it possible for the county to have the authority to return the property back to the descendants of the Bruce family. Back to you.